Woohoo! <laughs> Howdy there, friends, family, fans, and all of you finish line focused, fabulously fine folks. It is good to be seen uh, by all of you here this morning. Today is Saturday, June 18th. Now, as you can tell from yesterday's video, uh, I didn't film a lot, especially in the afternoon slash evening. Two reasons for that. First is absolute deluge of rain came in. So right after our lunch break, we sat at that pinnacle and uh, enjoyed weird views, neat view. The clouds would part and we could see for a set for a minute, just a small area, and then the clouds would come back in. Anyway, had our good lunch, we left. We heard it thundering off in the distance and that storm sure enough came in and pounded us all afternoon. Poor Pristine got soaking wet. I mean, all of us did, but soaking wet. We had to do, oh, probably eight, nine miles in the, in the driving rain, walking through at times ankle deep puddles. And so she got broke in for sure on life as an AT through hiker. And you got to hike. So anyway, we did our miles, got our, our 16 in. Halo was waiting with the warm Suburban to pick us up and whisk us back uh, 40 minutes or something drive back to the camp. And so when I got out of the truck after being in the warmth, I, my teeth started chattering. Man, I had to fill up my water bottles and head for the tent. And I got in the tent, got stripped down, used my little chamois to dry off the best I could, put on my, my merino wool base layer, got my feet dried off the best I could, got my socks, dry socks on and got everything dry. Got in my sleeping bag and got warmed up. I cooked my supper and I laid there the entire rest of the evening. <laughs> I think we got into, back to camp at like before six, uh, 5.30 probably. And it was great, but my battery was low on my phone, so I left it in the truck charging, and that's where it stayed all night. So I never finished anything up uh, last night. Had to put my phone in my pack because it was raining so hard. Uh, so anyway, rained most of the, all evening, rained part of the night. And this morning it was fairly clear, but here up in the mountains, uh, obviously it's real foggy. My arm is so tired, I can't hardly hold the phone out. So I'll probably keep this short. So we started at, I'm gonna call it like Bame Gap, mile 945. When today's plan is to do 19 miles um, to, I don't know what gap, <laughs> I don't even know what it's called, where we're headed. I know, but I'd have to look it up, sorry. Um, anyway, do the 19 miles today, and then we're gonna have like over an hour drive back to the campground. It's, it's gonna be a long drive. But in the morning, we'll only have five, five and a half miles into Front Royal. So that'll be wonderful. We'll tear down camp, pack everything up. Halo will drop Cur Dog and I off, probably pristine and we will hike on in, and then she'll go scope out town, pick out a place for some breakfast, and then meet us at the trailhead, and we'll go in and eat. I'm gonna, so we're gonna have a Nero tomorrow, uh, Sunday morning into Front Royal, then we're gonna take a Zero. And both Cur Dog and I are, are beat up and tired. There's been lots of Pennsylvania practice with rocks here lately, and so our feet are sore, uh, we're going to give them a day and three quarters off and hopefully heal them up uh, some so we can head on in to West Virginia in the next few days. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, getting into the Appalachian Trail Conservancy headquarters in Harper's Ferry. You check in there, they take your picture because uh, that's the unofficial halfway point. So looking forward to hitting the thousand mile mark. Today we're going to be at the, the 950... Let's see, we were at the, at the 9. Anyway, we're going to be over the 950 today. So that's cool. Uh, have only 50 miles left. 
to get to 1,000. So yeah, the, lots of milestones coming up. And then after you hit West Harper's Ferry, uh, within the next 100 miles, you do you know, four states. You leave Virginia, West Virginia, you go through Maryland, and then hit Pennsylvania, uh, all within 43 miles at one point there. So that's, that's exciting, because um, I'm ready for some excitement. This last little bit here has been difficult, and having, you know, 45-minute car ride to get to the trail or back from the trail or whatever adds, you know, it adds a lot. you got to get up extra early just to get to the trail, and then so many people through here are skipping so many sections. They're road walking, they're yellow blazing, which is which is hitchhiking, or getting rides through and out of the sections. Whew. Let me look at the sign. Um, yeah, got to make sure we stay on the trail. Anyway, um, so many people are, it's kind of disheartening when, you know, I get up super early, get up at, you know, between five and six every day, and I put on my, you know, sweaty clothes, and I load up my pack and go out and hike hard all day, and come back, and people that, you know, that you passed four days ago are now in front of you <laughs> because they road walked or skipped sections or whatever. And uh, anyway, I, I'm a, you guys know me by now, I'm a purist, and I'm not saying that people that don't uh, hike every mile can, aren't, can't be proud of their hikes because certainly they, they can and their experience is going to be better in some ways than mine. But, uh, boy, if I'm going to do the Appalachian Trail, I'm going to do it all. So I'm doing it, but certainly other, others aren't. And, uh, and uh, anyway, I, you, you got to be careful not to let that discourage you that, like, you know, and, and even maybe motivate me to, to skip sections also, because I do not want to do that. I feel like if I skip sections, I would be more likely to not even do the rest of the trail, because I've already missed parts. And I'm afraid some of my friends are going to do that, like... The pretty soon it's going to get hard and they're going to say, well, I've been skipping sections. I'm just going to go home. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, today today it's it's foggy and dripping rain. And I can see why people would quit in Harper's Ferry. Harper's Ferry is a, a big dropout point. It's the unofficial halfway mark. You've done over a thousand miles. Uh, you know, it's be easy to say, I've done enough. I'm going to go home and be with my family or whatever. Uh, so I can see why people would do that. I hope that that's not uh, a motivation or, or a distraction for me. I think that I will have the, the guts to keep going. No problem. So I don't want to like alarm you or whatever. But uh, I'm just talking that I see why people would have those, those thoughts go through their minds. So anyway, um, body is, is kind of beat up. My, my, my toes are, are sore. Um, feet are sore just from the rocks and walking some miles um, with them hurting. They, they haven't had a chance to heal up. So that's why we're looking at a, a Nero and a Zero. Hopefully recover those. And my right my leg, my groin area, like hip flexor, I don't know what muscle. That, that muscle continues to be very sore and tired. And so I don't really know how to stretch that or what to do about it. But I'm going to have to do something because I don't want it to get worse. Uh, whatever, and 20 miles, 19 miles today uh, is going to be difficult on that. Uh, but anyway, otherwise the body's feeling okay. I've been eating a lot lately because Halo's here and we've got these waysides. I've been eating extra food and I'm so hungry. Uh, I know my body's craving all that food, but I'm hoping that it doesn't cause problems later when Halo leaves and I have to try to carry, I don't want to have to carry extra, extra, extra food. Um, so anyway, but as I get further north, there's more and more villages and towns and places, grocery stores and places to get food. So I think I won't have to carry as much uh, food and I'll still be able to eat quite a bit. Because I mean, Halo wraps her arms around me and she's like, wow, I could just crush you. There's nothing you know, I'm pretty skinny, uh, for me especially. I'm, I'm about as you know, skinny as I've ever been. My legs are, are super thin for me. Uh, I'm still very, you know, kind of large framed and have a lot of weight. You'd be surprised at my overall body weight, but, but uh, I'm so skinny. My jawbone underneath my beard is very pronounced, like <laughs> my face is 
super thin. You just can't see it for the bushy, bushiness. <laughs> uh, but anyway, life is good. Uh, everything is, is going well. And I'm marching north. Yeah, today I woke up and decided, decided I'm going to hike the Appalachian Trail for a little bit. So that's what I'm doing. Northbound. Uh, what are you doing? What are you guys going to do today? Or what are you, you going to do tomorrow if this is like in the evening? Hopefully, you're going to get out and get active. And, uh, and do something more and greater and longer and better than you've done before. Done in the past. And also... Hopefully you're still striving towards helping us reach more subscribers, more people to come on board and support this, you know, me and this channel as I hike north, because I certainly need all the support. And man, I, I want to really, really, really thank you guys for all the amazing comments and all your amazing support. Uh, I'm so proud of you and thankful for each and every one. So, all right, stay, stay tuned. And let's see what today brings. <sighs> Can y'all say yummy second breakfast at the Elk Wallow Wayside? It's like point one off the trail. And we are heading for it. It's 9.30. Gonna go in and get some breakfast. Second breakfast. 11 Z's at 9.30. Yay. So thankful for Waysides. <laughs> you can see all the goodies in there. Boy, the kids would love that. All right, take off our stuff. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Ugh, in my very full tummy tummy. So, Elk Wallow Wayside has an Elk Wallow special that includes two eggs. Over easy, uh, of course, and sausage, bacon, or ham, and I pick sausage, uh, hash browns, and toast. Wheat, toast, if they don't have rye or whatever. Um, and that was super yummy. They have homemade cinnamon rolls. So I ended up with two of those and two cups of coffee. Ah, so Disciple is well-fueled and ready to go for another couple hours. So that was delicious. I bought a bag of kettle salt and vinegar chips to go with my lunch. And I bought a fruit punch Gatorade that I only drank a couple sips out of and I'm carrying that for later rounds today also. So there you have it, kind of an expensive stop. You can't do that all the time. Boy, breakfast was like 11 bucks. <sighs> uh, but anyway, so that place is only like just over one-tenth or something off the trail. Man, the trail almost goes right through it. So that is fabulous. Very thankful. It was good to just sit down and drink some coffee. And now we're climbing. Uh, headed up off that road. And I think we've got a pretty good climb in front of us. So I'm glad to be... Uh, refueled and ready to ready to tackle this climb. The sun is trying to kind of come out and bake off some of this uh, moisture because my feet are just sopping wet. First of all, my shoes were almost as though I'd pulled them out of a bucket of water this morning. They were that wet. My socks were dry, but only until I put them put them in my shoes, and instantly those socks just soaked up water, but then walking through the vegetation, uh, they get soaking wet anyway. So it doesn't really matter when you're walking on a rainy morning. Uh, everything else I got very sweaty doing a few climbs this morning into that wayside and saw so it's very wet anyway, but uh, dried off now. But I'm sure I'm gonna get very sweaty going up this hill. Again, so that is the nature of backpacking. It's the nature of hiking on the trail. So you just kind of embrace it. In fact, try not to even think about it. Just, just do it. Just let the suffering <laughs> continue. And, and uh, it's just part of this life. Life on the AT. And this is pretty, starting to get fairly steep. I don't know if looking off, if I hold the camera level, if you can get an idea 
uh, how steep, but I'm going to put the phone away and use two trekking poles. The trekking poles really help uh, to climb. They power you uh, right along and take some pressure off. So, uh, yep. Anyway, boy, my tummy is full. Blah. But the calories are good. Extra power. So I've seen lots of very unique trees, but this is the first one like this. Um, a hole right through, <laughs> right through it, and it's still live and green and big. That is crazy cool. Hopefully you can kind of tell with the camera what that's like, but very neat. Hmm. Come around and get the other side. A little bit. Oh wow, it goes way up on this side. Huh. And the tree is alive and well. Super cool. Been climbing ever since second breakfast and I am absolutely sopping wet with sweat. It's so humid. It's actually kind of cool out. It's really nice. But it's so humid. It's dripping from the trees. Oh my goodness. And there were some fairly steep sections back there. But yeah, I am, I am dripping. And I don't think it's clear enough for any of these side views yet. I don't know. Yeah. We'll keep on hiking. We stayed at that Elk Wallow wayside for a long time. So we got to make time so we can meet Halo and our chariot to whisk us back to, to base camp. So I'll be honest, I'm, it's really awesome having base camp and not having to carry everything with us. But uh, both Cur Dog and I agree, like we kind of miss the, the regularity of like having our stuff, having the flexibility of doing more or less miles, you know, not being on such a like regimented schedule and a time schedule and all that. Uh, so, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's such a blessing having the fam, but we do miss uh, miss some of that. So, hi guys. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Very good, thank you. Good. Uh, yeah, so we definitely, uh, oh boy, yeah, I miss that. Um, I do, I miss setting up my tent and, and getting in there and, you know, cooking and just whatever. It's just... It's been fun and enjoyable. And this has been fun and enjoyable too. And it's awesome getting to see see the family every night. And boy, Halo is such an angel. Uh, she takes such good care of, of me and and the kids. She she wants to help so much. She just does like everything for me. I didn't tell you last night. She came and got my wet clothes and took them off and washed and dried them with every, you know, with the with the kids and and stuff. So I mean she is truly, truly an angel. Uh, can I get an amen? Okay, I'm sure 99% of you all went amen, and some of you don't even know her uh, yet, but if you would get to know her, you would find out she is truly, I mean, inside and out, just an angel, uh, gorgeous, and, and uh, you know, inside and out, her heart is, is beautiful, uh, and her face matches. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm very blessed to have her uh, but it looks like maybe when we leave Front Royal, we'll have to do uh, a couple of few days out on the trail to uh, get into um, Harper's Ferry. And so I'm looking forward to that. And maybe Pristine will want to go uh, with us and she can get a few days actually on the trail and, you know, overnight and all that good stuff. So that'd be good. Hopefully her feet are okay. She's been having some blister problems and yesterday was not a load of fun uh, hiking in just an absolute downpour. She was a trooper. She did very, very well. But uh, when, she, we get, when you get done, especially when, you, when we got in that warm vehicle, when we got back out again, I was like, I was so cold. Uh, my teeth were chattering. And anyway, she, uh, yeah, it's, it's rough. That's the, the dark side of backpacking <laughs> is days like that. And then what you have to do at the end of them. But at least it wasn't freezing. You know, at least it wasn't super cold. So, hey, yeah, thanks, guys. Uh, so I hope I didn't ramble there too much, but we will catch you soon. That tree was awesome, wasn't it? Uh, makes me hungry to say it, but it's hogback. 
ridge lookout. So very, very pretty. I'm glad the clouds broke enough to get some sort of a view. Obviously this is a pull-off place also. You can pull up here in your vehicles to enjoy God's glory scattered out over these mountain ranges. Beautiful. So, uh, yep, for those of you that don't know me, I'm a barbecue fanatic. Love barbecue, like cooking it, like consuming it. Done some competitions. I own a big old, like nearly commercial smoker. Uh, do used to do some catering and all that. We have a business called Born Again Barbecue. <laughs> That's why when I say it, it makes me hungry to say hogback. I think of a whole hog. In fact, what I've been contemplating as I, as I tour this or do this Appalachian Trail thing, I've been thinking about uh, ought to have like a whole hog roast as appreciation for all the folks that helped us on our on this whole journey when I'm all done. But who knows? We'll see what happens. All right, hopefully you could enjoy that view because it was a good one. Uh, very pretty view. I can imagine how, uh, how beautiful it would be had it not been for the cloud cover. Looks like a good drop off down yonder and I am not by the edge. In fact, you could climb out on those rocks there very easily, but I'm not going to. I will stay right here, firmly planted and sweating. A uh, good day so far, had, having some fun, got, got a lot of distance to cover. So, uh, looks like I'm glad I'm not going that way. <clears throat> um, yeah, we took a long break at uh, ooh, Elk Wallow Gap. So, um, yep, having to make up some time so we didn't stop for too long for lunch. Oh, maybe the trail does go. Let's see. No, I guess that... Oh, wait, yeah, this is the way I got to go. Looks like the trail just went through there, and now it goes this way. All right. Anyway, uh, yeah, can't sit around too long, because Halo will be waiting. And a happy Halo makes life happy for everybody. <laughs> no, she could never be more gracious. Uh, driving so far out of the way and waiting so long or whatever uh, for us. But anyway, don't want don't to abuse that, so making tracks uh, that direction. Trail's been pretty good all day. Not many rocks and not many um, bad uphills, just kind of a gentle rolling rolling trail. And it's only gotten real rocky here just lately. And because of all the moisture, they are very slippery, so having to be careful. Uh, for some reason, these shoes just do not seem to fit quite as well, and they're not as um, good attraction is the first first pair. They're just a little seem like they're just a little different. Uh, not sure if it's just me and my perception or the terrain, uh, whatever. Anyway, um, you can see here the trail's very overgrown, so it's been well maintained and even weedy, weed eat, weed eaten um, most of the way. But this section is not. I mean, it's. My head is right amongst all these branches. Uh, so, bursting through. Feels good. All right. Whew. Um, yeah. All right, we'll stop there for now. I got some thoughts in the back of my mind, but we'll see if they materialize. All right, it is a quarter till five, and the day is winding down for her dog and I. So our miles are almost done. I'm going to guess I have um, less than a half mile to the Compton Gap, you know, parking area, whatever it is. It's, wow, mile 964.1, uh, I believe, is the mileage on the AT. Anyway, uh, day is winding down, and so thoughts, you know, for the day is that today uh, my body feels better. I believe that it was just a little easier doing these uh, 19 and change versus the 16 um, yesterday. And part of that, you know, of course, is the, the, the deluge of rain and all that. But there were less rocks today. This section is real rocky right here. But uh, less rocks today and I guess probably more gentle climbs. And the, the food definitely makes a difference. Having a, a good hot breakfast like the Elk Wallow special back there at the Elk Wallow Wayside, that was uh, certainly, a, you know, lifts 
lifts your spirits and your strength and stuff. Um, I've definitely got wet and soggy feet, and my plan is to uh, very quickly take off shoes and socks, and I'm going to tie my shoes to the roof rack of the Suburban, to my canoe rack. I'm going to tie them up there, because we got like an hour drive back to the thing, so I'm going to let them blow dry up there as we... Oh, wow, check out that little pebble on the side of the uh, trail. Look at that. These like rocks that just jut up out of nowhere. See, the terrain is, um, you know, flat all around it. And then boom, there's this big old awesome rock. That is so cool. I love it. I want to stop and take pictures of every one of them, but I know you guys would get, you know, get tired of seeing that. Wow, look at that. I'm going to get down here further and I'll look at that. That is, that is so neat. I wish I could put it in perspective for you, but it's probably... Oh, 12 or 14 feet high? Huh. Very cool. People climb uh, a lot of these. They climb and repel off some of these rock faces and stuff around here. Uh, but anyway, so I forget what I was saying. Um, body feels better. I'm less tired uh, today, which is good because I've been pretty beat up and tired. I'm definitely... Okay, so a couple things I'm excited about... Uh, talking to Poke and Gigi, yesterday they got to go listen to a park ranger uh, talk about brook trout, which are like, I, I won't say my favorite fish, but one of my favorite fish uh, for sure. They are so awesome. I love smallmouth and, and largemouth, but then probably brook trout. It's like all of them. Depends on where I'm at, because right now brook trout's my favorite. But at home, it's got to be the, the bucket mouth and the smallmouth uh, bass. But anyway, so they learned about small uh, brook trout. At the at the wayside there, that one of the rangers taught him. Now today was like Junior Ranger Day or something, so they got to go and be be like Junior Rangers or learn what it's like to be a Junior Ranger. And so I can't wait to see uh, this what they get to tell me about what they did and what they learned. So that's going to be cool. And then also to oh, so I just love <laughs> getting cleaned up, getting eaten, and um, sitting around camp a little bit. And then going to bed and laying down, you know, in that sleeping bag or with that quilt on top of me. Oh, it's such a comfortable feeling. And I love snuggling in as it cools off in the evening and, you know, waking up in the morning with cool. And tomorrow morning, we're not going to be in a hurry. We've only got five miles to do and we're going to tear down camp. So my plan is to make some oatmeal and a cup of coffee uh, tomorrow, which is something that I just don't normally do. I am usually get going quick. So I'm really looking forward to that. But then now we're headed into uh front royal and that will be awesome we're going to stay at the hampton inn for two nights we're going to enjoy a nero day tomorrow so only five miles and then we'll take the rest rest of the day to do errands and then uh relax i'm taking my my hot halo out for uh for a date and uh see a movie i'm planning on ingesting large quantities of buttery flavored popcorn and uh then on Monday, we are taking a full zero day of nothing, and I'm planning on, believe it or not, buying a Backpacker magazine, because we didn't bring, I subscribed to it at home, but we didn't bring one anyway. I'm going to buy a Backpacker magazine. I'm going to sit down, and I'm just going to leaf through the magazine and, and have Halo read some articles to me, <laughs> uh, or whatever, but just take it easy, and try to do almost nothing. I'm going to soak my feet in Epsom salts a lot, as much as possible. Hopefully get my shoes uh, thoroughly dried out, get my clothes thoroughly cleaned up, get my gear ready to go, and we are going to launch a full-scale assault on Harper's Ferry. It's going to be like the Civil War all over again with the North and the South fighting over that town, and uh, yep, I'm planning on occupying it very soon, so that'll be awesome. Hit that thousand mile mark, hit that town, the unofficial halfway point. So looking forward to several things here tonight and in the days to come. So thanks guys for coming along and you will see, uh, possibly see some more here uh, as we get to camp and whatever. Alrighty, I was correct. I had very little distance to go to Compton Gap or one of our old, you know, funny movies that we watched many years ago, the South Campton Wildcats uh, Gap <laughs> from that, I don't know, cheerleading movie. 100 years ago. Anyway, uh, here we are, and we are ahead of Halo, so I'm able to stretch and got my legs uh, cleaned off, so there is no mud on the inside. 
I can't wait to get these wet shoes and wet socks off and uh, hopefully get them drying and let my feet start to dry out a little bit also. Uh, feel good and glad to be here so quickly. We were worried that uh, it might be close to six before we got in uh, and we made very good time this last little bit was nice and fairly flat and pretty fast trail so we boogied and, and made it here five minutes to five so that good day the deer are very oh where'd they go up here the deer are very elusive here in the park <laughs> they were walking through our campsite this morning and last night hello venison on the hoof um, yeah, they're like literally walk around. One lady was complaining because a deer came up and like headbutted her dog while it was on the leash as she was walking. No, uh, -uh. yeah, back at Lewis Mountain Campground. So we just had a fabulous supper at the Big Meadow Wayside. I had chicken strips, mashed potatoes and gravy and some coleslaw. Uh, oh, and a big huge piece. Cur Dog and I shared a big huge piece of blackberry ice cream pie what'd you think of the pie there brother cur dog it was outstanding how'd you like sharing it with disciple <laughs> i'm just glad your wife was there <laughs> halo was there but she did not, not partake <laughs> of the dessert which gave us more so we were thankful she saw how pathetic we looked hey i think we know these kids uh-oh um, I'm filming. A missing shoe here. Hey, you guys, go to go get a job or something. Get some work. No Do some work. No way, Jose. I'm gonna get it. Hey, there's a car coming. We gotta Wait. go. Hop That's down, guys. Do not mess around. Um, okay. I, children are climbing all over our view. All right, I gotta stop the camera so I can wrap, wrangle kids. No. <laughs>